Hey guys, Tyson here with Kicker Technical Support. What we're going to go over today is wiring up three of our comp single voice coil subs. All of these speakers are four ohm. What you want to do is always start out with your subs being the exact, all being the same ohm load. If you have two ohm or four ohm or mixed ohm load where the subs, chances are the system probably won't sound correct because one of the woofers will pull more current draw than what needs and won't sound right. So always start out with all your woofers being the correct ohm load. What we'll do is we'll start out with parallel wiring. Parallel wiring means we'll take all the positives and all the negatives of our speakers and tie them in together. So what we'll do is we'll start off with our jumper wires from sub to sub. Positive here, my other positive wire to here. Put another one in for that one. And go here. I now take all my negatives and tie them in. Negative this one. This negative. negative connection and then this one. I'll use the last sub in the setup to go to the amplifier to squeeze one more wire into these. So this will be the feed that goes to the amp. So this will be my negative to the amp. And this would be the lead to the amplifier. Now to check this lead or to help match what kind of amplifier to use, you take your meter, switch to an ohm setting, take the lead that would go to the amp and take it straight to your meter. Positively could go to here, a negative lead to the negative of the meter. With all these put in parallel, our final impedance meter out roughly to a 1.5. So to run three of these subs, I need an amplifier as at least one ohm to reduce the power out for them to perform right. If I used a two ohm loaded amp, these three subs at a 1.5 would shut down an amplifier because an amp that's labeled as two ohm stable won't work down to a one ohm load. So three woofers, single voice coil four ohm, wired in parallel is a 1.5 at your amp. Thanks.